This is our campsite here at Woodhouse in South Australia. Hello. Yeah. Hello. It's Mount Gambia we've been to, 373 kilometres away. It's a beautiful drive through the hills here on the way to a waterfall. Hills. Yeah, and we have barely scratched the surface of this unbelievable region. There are so many activities and sights to see for both the kids and for adults. We live in Victoria near the Dandenongs, and for us it had a very similar yeah, feel really to the Dandenongs region. Yeah, really similar to the Dandenongs, region. yep. Um, our first stop when we went up there was actually Woodhouse, which is a scout activity centre. However, it's open to the public, anyone can camp there. And we thought, what an opportunity to go to a place that not only has some great camping facilities, but lots of activities to do as well. Walking over to our campsite, you can see we've got the entire campground to ourselves, which is a pretty cool treat. So we're pretty good and looking forward to some adventure. This is Challenge Hill. There's all these little activities and challenges all around us up into the hill here. So we're going to go and give it a go. Here's the start of Challenge Hill. You got it? You got it out? Good boy. Go hurry. Oh! Got a keyhole. Good. Number five, the monkey bars. Uh oh. Haven't done these since I was little. Alright, we'll pay it. Okay, two climbs in a row. How's it going, Steph? I'll skip two. Good luck. We just finished the rock wall, as you can see over my right shoulder there. Um, that was quite a bit of work. We got about what, just over halfway, maybe nearly three quarters, and uh, got oh, halfway. Yeah, and uh, I'll let go before Jed. Didn't see you up there, Steph. <laughs> Alright, Harry's going up over the ladder. I have one or two family members complete each one. When we can, we all do it. Harry's at the top of the ladder. What will he do now? This is the hill I was talking about, Harry. The Challenge Hill. You'll see we're up on the Challenge Hill. There's obstacles all around. And again, this is something anyone can do. You can come and use this for the day. If you're up here in the Adelaide Hills, come and visit Woodhouse Activity Centre. A visit to the Adelaide Hills is not complete without a stop in Handoff. Handoff is the oldest surviving German settlement in Australia. It's like a time warp, a German time warp. It is, yeah. And even midweek, it has a great feel about it and there were heaps of people there. Um, so we went in to try some German cakes and pastries and the boys couldn't handle it. They, they were ended up, beaten. They were absolutely <laughs> beaten. They were way too big. So we basically gorged ourselves on pastries. But then to work off the calories, we headed off to mini golf to try to uh, get back on a par. It is old, right? It's a pretty cool town, isn't it? I think in custard and strudels in Handor. What do you think, Harry? Yeah, yours is honey. Pretty good. Managed to ditch the kids and the husband, and I'm going for a wander up the main street of Handor. It's beautiful, some gorgeous little shops, lots of ice cream places and cake shops. Might be a place to send them while mum gets a bit of a walk around. And there's a uh, mini golf place as well, so we'll send them up there later on too. Hey! 
Oh, 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 I nearly has. Oh. Hey! Oh, nearly got it. He got through. Oh. oh, nearly. All right, Stephanie Davey is at the hole. She needs this to tie. Here we go. Let's go, Steph. Hey, well done. Just pulled over here. Whenever we travel and do road trips we usually pack a lunch so it means that we can keep our costs down we've got a cooler bag we take with us and just find a playground a lot cheaper than cafes before we left everyone was talking to us about big things and you've got to go and see all the big things so when we heard there was a big rocking horse at the local toy shop we thought yep let's go see the big rocking horse now Harry wasn't so keen to climb up and the reason why he didn't want to climb up was the same reason Alex ended up being disappointed because the rocking horse doesn't actually rock. Um, once we got up there, they realised it's okay. Also on site there is a great animal farm area. This is very accessible at only $1 per person. Very good value and thank you to the people who run it. There were heaps great of animals. diversity. Yeah, goats, llamas, wallabies, heaps of birds. And they were really seniors. friendly too. Like they were just approaching the kids and very, were very, very happy animals. to meet people. Yeah, awesome place to check out. There's kind of giant walking in the field. Is this it? Um, maybe that is? That's bigger. Whoa. That's the giant rocking horse. All right, we're going up the rocking horse. Bought tickets for the rocking horse, the giant rocking horse, and we're heading up. We're climbing up the ladder. You got the leg of the rocking horse, the boys are heading up. Then you go down there. What's left to go, guys? Just the top. Oh yeah, this is only medium. Harry, you made it. You came all the way to the top. Alex, welcome to the top. Are you are you wishing that this horse rocks now? No. <laughs> Me too. That's cool. Lucky llamas. last. I can see llamas. There's the llamas over there. Wow. Oh yeah! I thought we were taking. We're on top of the rocking horse. Yay. It's a long way up. How many ladders do we have to climb up? He'd be a very cool chicken, wouldn't he? Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? So one of the places we were told we absolutely had to check out was Murray Alter Falls and it is a conservation park and it is wall to wall with koalas. Mm. There's great big cliff faces you can go and look at, climb up to, plenty of lookouts 
and even a waterfall that's unfortunately seasonal but stunning nonetheless. More of a walk to the rock face. We Absolutely. love a good walk through a nature park, so this one was perfect. It was. On the way out then, Harry happened to spot a giant slide, so of course we had to go and check out this playground, which would be a super place to spend the day. It was an amazing Aboriginal uh, themed story time playground and it was just great. We're in the Morialty Conservation Park and we're heading up to First Falls so it's a beautiful spot we've driven right up to here and you can see it's got excellent landscaping and we just pulled up literally in the car park so let's go and have a bit of a look going up to Giant's Cave Pretty big. We're out spotting koalas. This is the second one we've seen. He's in this little tree just near the path. So it's a nice flat area on the bottom of the gorge. So I guess they're sticking around here as opposed to up on the hills. So we're getting a real good look at him. Look at the cockatiel they're eating the nectar. Hey. If you watched our previous video about Rapid Bay, you'll know that we made some new friends there, Amanda and Bailey, and we were invited to visit their house. They happen to live in the Adelaide Hills. Yeah, and their mum, Anne, actually runs a rescue shelter for kangaroos as well as the odd possum and a couple other native animals as well. She's actually the president of the local wildlife rescue centre. So we were invited out to come and meet the animals and hear a little bit about her story as well as Bailey and Amanda's story on how they look after all the animals. Little ringtail possum. Cool as hey. Wow. I'm a bit tilted up, mate. Right? Well, we didn't have time to study it. Going down to feed the kangaroos. Yep. Peace. Okay, my name's Anne. I belong to a group called the Native Animal Network SA, and I obviously do wildlife rescue, specialising in kangaroos, mostly kangaroos, sometimes a few possums, but mostly kangaroos. I never really realised how much of a need there was to look after our wildlife, and as I got number two and three kangaroos, and then I met a lovely lady over in Nan who was the president of the Native Animal Network and uh, she got me into even more trouble. Wow. We were always together, but it's a life of love. Um, I can't imagine being without a kangaroo. The only thing I sleep with these days is a dog and a kangaroo. What better life could I have? They are amazingly friendly and happy animals. Well, they've all been hand raised. Yeah. Some have come in as a result of cruelty. Yep. Um, not so, no, not such a, a good start. But they settle down really well. Uh, a lot of people, why don't you pass them on? Why don't you release them? To what? Yeah, so tell us about that because obviously it's unique here in South Australia from what I understand in terms of not being allowed to release them. Is that right? Yes, it is. Totally enough. Yep. Um, well, I believe that my animals will never know hunger, thirst, or predation ever again. But why would we release to an animal that's already in an overpopulated state? Why add to that? Uh, and these animals aren't wild. They, they come in the house, they're part of the family, they play with the dog, uh, they're anything but wild. So why release them back out there if we're allowed to keep them? Strictly under control, strictly under licence. You've got to be licensed to do what we do and you've got to have the facilities and you've got to be able to afford to do what you do. It's not cheap, but who cares? Um, I would go without everything just to feed this lot. Well done. Good work on everything that you do. You can see how happy they are and what a good job you're doing looking after them. Thank you.
It has been a huge week. Thank you to everybody who we visited for making our stay so wonderful and for being so welcoming to us. Make sure you subscribe along on social media. Check out our website. We've got lots more planned coming up, things that we're doing, including Adelaide City in next week's episode. Thank you.